Oh, hi. All right, so what we're doing today is um, Brian and I got this bike for me over the winter, and we're kind of buffing it up a little bit, getting it running a little better than how it was. We had already taken the carburetor off once, um, not all the way off, just part of the way off, and cleaned out the pilot jet because it wasn't idling very good. And one of the things I found out when we were down there kind of digging through the bike is that the fuel lines on the bike are these just kind of, you know, poly fuel lines and they're kinked. So Brian, take a take a look down there and uh, show show people those those fuel lines. We got almost no fuel flow coming through from the fuel tank down to the carburetor. So what we found out was we would start the bike up and just kind of we'd start the bike up and run it around the yard and it would stall out. And so we think part of it is from these fuel lines. So we went ahead and ordered, I don't know if you can see these too well, a couple of new fuel lines. They've got the curve already pre-bent into them. Straight from Honda. Straight from Honda. I think we got these from like Partzilla, one of these online places. And we got the little clips too to clamp them in. So everything will fit nice. I don't know if you can see these little clips. Yeah, Everything's gonna fit nice together. We're gonna get a good fuel flow down into the carburetor. That's step one. We're gonna do that today. And then another day we're gonna do, we actually got um, a piece that a lot of guys have done an upgrade to this bike, which is to change the original pilot jet from a 40 to a 42. And we're gonna do that probably in a few weeks. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our fuel tank can. I don't know if you can see this. We've got the fuel line comes right from the fuel tank. What it is, is is actually most tanks have the, the petcock is right in the tank. In this case, the petcock is separate. And then there's these little lines that go around and the fuel tank. It has its own out, output under here. So we're going to drain all the fuel out of the tank. How we're going to do that is we've got the fuel off. I'm going to take this off of the carburetor. This is the fuel line. A lot of things on this bike are really, really tight. Really, really... Jammed in there. Things are really... Uh, there's not a lot of real estate in here. All right, so it starts to loosen up. I'm just going to pop this off. Probably a little bit of fuel just in the line itself. Yep, yeah, a little bit. And then we're just going to turn the fuel on. And you can see how little flow we're getting from that tank. Yeah, that should be way more And if flow. I put it on reserve, which is usually l even lower down the tank, look at that. That's my reserve setting. So we're going to drain it as best we can. To make our life a little bit easier, we're going to loosen up this petcock. I had Brian to loosen up the bolt for me. And or straighten out the tubes a little bit. Oops. Yeah, this is a good angle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to milk a cow here. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Just gonna to make our life a little easier. We're just gonna cut these off. I can cut them. There it is. There's one. There's the other one. We can take these off. You see, these are just kind of just kind of cheap hardware store tubing. It didn't leak though, but the fuel didn't really flow either. Fuel line. It's a very tight squeeze, isn't it? Oh, that went on real nice. Yeah. And we can just kind of spin it to where we want it to be. Let's find the other one. Okay, now we're going to put the other one on. It's hard to film behind all this stuff. <laughs> but it's in there. That was good. Those look custom. custom. So we're gonna get this one on. We're doing reserve first and then 
it's on top, and then we're gonna do the main so fuel line. Nice. Turn the main fuel line. It's really hard to get your fingers in here. There we go. There it is. Trying to get these lines so that there's very little, you know, very little pressure on them to be moving anywhere so that they just kind of rest where they want to rest. That looks a lot better than what was there. The lines are not kinked. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna get these little clamps. We're gonna slide them up where they belong in a minute. Oh, you're looking at me. And then we're gonna be okay. So these little clips, we're gonna make sure we slide these all the way on so that they hold the, so that they hold the fuel line where it's supposed to be. You don't want fuel popping loose when you're riding. Once you're over that barb. Once you're over that barb, you know you're good. There we go. It's not going anywhere. Well, it seems like it's in the right spot. All right, so. All right, so now we're going to do. Sorry, I'm a little blinded by the sun. We're going to bring the bike back up. We're going to put some fuel in it. We're going to see what kind of flow we're getting out of this Now we're thing. just putting some fuel in with the pet cock off. And then we're going to put the fuel cap back on. Put the gas can underneath the fuel line. And then see if we have better flow. Alright, let's turn it to on. Let's see what oh, we yeah, get. Oh yeah, you can already hear more. Look at that. Oh, maybe not. I want to get some air through the system. That wasn't supposed to happen. No, that's not supposed to happen. I wonder if we have some cloggage going on inside. Let's put it on reserve now. Look at that. There's reserve. That's we reserve. didn't put that much fuel in the tank. That's probably it. That's the kind of flow we're looking for. Yeah, we just don't have much fuel in the tank, so it couldn't get all the way on. That's why you have to reserve, though. All right, we're going to put this back together. We're going to fire up the bike. Make sure it's running okay. All right, now we're just going to start it up. Let's see this thing start up. Oh, that was almost it. You guys could see the light show, okay? So Brian thinks I'm old and weak and wants to give it a couple kicks. Six and a half hours later. There it is. Like the 30th kick. 